Hello everyone. This is unit two, and we'll study list in this unit. So, what is list? List is a data structure present in Python that is used to store that is used to store multiple type of data and multiple values. For example, we can store. Suppose we'll make one list. This is the syntax of list. Suppose we need to add some integer values in this list and then some string values and then some double values. Let us try to print this and run this to, uh, this one. Let us run this. See, no errors came. So uh, you can see that we can take multiple types of data and we can uh, all put together in single list. In other terms, we can say uh, list is a variable that can be used to store multiple data or multiple values. So we'll study here list and some of the methods of the list. So let us make one list of fruits. And we'll take some names like apple, mango, mango, and names, grapes. For now, we'll take only three. So what if we want to print? How we can print this? We can print this by passing the index like uh, we do in array we'll do the same way so fruits we want to print the fruit name on the index 0 see apple got printed like that if we want to print at index 3 see there is an error like list index out of range this error came because there are only index till 2 0 1 and 2 so if we pass 2 here see it will get printed grapes so to avoid that we'll study later part in this video so not only positive index can be used we can also use negative index like suppose 0 1 2 so we'll start from here like grapes so let us try giving index minus 0 it's printing apple because minus is not considered here it's taking 0 as index so to avoid this what python does it starts with minus 1 because minus 0 is not valid so it starts with minus 1 and it will go still minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so let us try printing minus 1 so see grapes got printed here now let us try minus 2 mango got printed minus 3 apple got printed so uh, while taking negative index it starts from minus 1 and goes up to nth element minus n element but while going to positive it starts from 0 and goes till n minus 1 element so we will study some of the methods that we can use on uh, list are first we will study append then insert pop remove and index so let us start with append so what's the use of append what it does whatever the values gets passed in append like here here we need to pass the name of item we need to add in the list so append adds the item at the end of the list suppose we want to add fruits dot append we want to add lychee now let us print this print fruits and before adding we need to print fruits let us print this see at the first uh, print statement it's printing apple mango grapes but in the next line lychee got added and got printed so by using this append we can add element at the end of the list but what if you want what if we need to add suppose after apple or suppose after mango so in that case we use insert insert this is the syntax where first we need to specify the index in index and then we need to pass the item name so this is the syntax suppose we want to add something after apple suppose we want to add peers fruits dot insert now we need to pass the index at what index we want to add 
after apple means at index one what we need to add pl let us print this and see what changes are made so see here after apple peers got added so like that only what if we need to delete one element suppose we need to delete lychee see lychee at, is at the end so let us do one thing i'll make one roots two and we'll put roots in this so what if we need to delete one uh, first of all i'll print fruits two see in the fruits two uh, whatever we did uh, on the above these lines got added see let us run this again so currently in the fruits two we have apple pears mango grapes and lychee suppose we need to remove mango so for that here's one another method that we call pop and pop can be used in two manners like mainly it is used to delete the last element like whatever is in the last of the list so let us use this roots roots two dot pop and then print roots two let us run this see lychee got deleted what if we wanted to delete mango in place of lychee it's deleting the last element so for that we need to provide index of that roots to dot pop we need to delete mango so mango is on the second index 0 1 2 we need to pass 2 here and then print roots 2 let us see what happens see mango got deleted from the list so in this manner we can delete a, a specified index there's another way to remove one suppose we don't know the index of element that we want to delete so for in that case we can delete it by let us see what's in the list first in the list we have apple pears mango grapes and lychee now we need to delete mango and we don't even know the index of that mango so for that we can use fruits to dot remove and here we have to pass the name of the item suppose i want to delete mango now let us print this fruits to and run this see mango got deleted from here here it is showing mango here it's not so we can delete an element by this method uh, there's one another method we can delete if we don't know the index and that is by first we'll take the index for that i'll, I'll write one uh, i'll take one variable in we'll store index and we'll fruits to dot index of which fruit we need to find the index we need to find the index of mango so we'll pass mango here let us print this first see here's apple mango grapes lychee all are in the list now we need to remove this so uh, we'll use we can use pop so fruits two dot pop and we'll pass the in in means index here and again we print fruits two see what is it does first it took the index of mango then we'll pass then we passed that index in pop and it deleted mango so these are the basic uh, methods that comes predefined in python for list now after this we will be looking at the sum of the functions that is in that is for the list for that we will make one another list of numbers num and this print nums see it got printed but what if we want this in sorted order so for that there is one function sorted so print sorted and in this we have to pass the list let us print see what happens 
see it got sorted in ascending order minus 2 0 first it was 2 6 3 43 0 minus 2 now it's minus 2 0 2 3 6 43 we can store that in some another variable suppose nums 2 equal to this and now if we need to print nums 2 it will print the sorted I'll delete this it will print the sorted one in the below see it's working correctly now there come some other functions like reverse we will need to reverse the list so for that there is one function called reverse so we'll try this print reverse and we'll pass the list nums let us run this see it's not giving an error but it's giving an list reverse iterator object means it's giving an giving an address to that this this address so how can we fix this we can give one star before the reverse see now it's correct 043362 it got reversed we already saw reverse and sorted now we'll see count so what's the function of count it will count the number of elements in that list count is used for uh, in the number of same elements like here I have uh, 263 all the elements are single like only repeated once so let us add some more tools here now try to uh, nums dot count we want to count 2 see it's saying 3 let us count here 2 2 2 it's 3 it's correct only now we'll look at minimum and maximum print min min from where from the list of nums and print max this will give the maximum from that list from where nums let us run this see it's giving 0 for minimum and 43 for maximum so these are the basic function functions that we need to know now we will learn about in keyword so what's the use of in keyword suppose i'm if making one uh, fruits again fruits guava. so if you want to remove guava it we can simply type fruits dot remove guava and it will remove that but what if we want to remove mango here mango see this will give an error to avoid this we can do one check so to avoid this we will do one check like if mango see it's showing not found and uh, if it's found so we can delete this see if it's found we'll delete it suppose roots dot remove mango so let us take one variable for that actually item now let us run this it's saying not found what if we pass in place of mango apple run this sorry i have not changed here it should have been item here let us run this see it's saying removed let us print the fruits again C 
see apple got removed from the list so this in this manner we can use key in keyword and there's an another way to print the whole list fruits what if we need to print every single elements using for loop we can do that using while loop or for loop so we'll first look at for loop for fruit in fruits print Fruit. Let us run this. See, it's printing apple, grapes, and guava. It's working. Okay. Then we can do the same thing using while loop. How we can do? Let us take one value. Equal to zero. And then we'll write one while loop. While fruit is lesser than of what fruits and will print what do we need to print fruits of fruit and will increment that fruit fruit equal to fruit plus one let us run this I missed this column see again it's printing the same means it's working perfectly let us uh, see the use of repetition operator suppose I'm making one list uh, and trying to put value 0 and will multiply it by 10 so what if we we'll print this list what will what it will print only one single 0 let us see it's printing 0 10 times so what uh, this asterisk multiplied by 10 does it will uh, duplicate means repeat that values 10 times it's not only with the list we can also see we can print something like hello how many times 5 times it will work with even anything so this was all about repetition operator now we'll look at immutable so we'll take one example of immutable so for that we'll define one function define double number and it will take one number and what it will does it will multiply that number so number equal to number into 2 and it will return the number and after come we need to make a calling so for that let us take number equal to 10 and again number 1 sorry number 1 equal to double sorry double number will pass number here so whatever return value will come will get stored in number so let us try to see what is stored in number and number one see number number is still number and number one got 20 why it happened because here new object gets created Here new objects got created and while returning new object gets returned. So here number one is different and number is different. Only this much is about uh, mutables and immutables.